So what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the weekly movie hunt. Yeah, we're going to go into Walmart, Target, and uh, Best Buy, as we always do. Might even stick my head into Barnes & Noble. I'm um, going to look around and see what we can find. I know there's a couple of catalog titles I want to pick up this week. So uh, come back here at the end and uh, join me, and I'll show you what I picked up. So what are we waiting for? Let's get at it. Yeah, let's go. We'll get the pain and suffering over with. We'll try to hit in target first. Why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? Okay, I will, because they literally had nothing on the shelf. Hot garbage. So we'll go into Walmart next. Look at that wide angle shot there. Nice, crisp, clear day in the morning. Get out of here before it gets too hot. And we're going to go into Walmart. You can hear the Sam's Club radio in the background. What else? What do they got over here? They got Justice League War World on Blu-ray. I like that cover. Look, it's got a horse on the back. That's kind of cool. Dinosaurs. I don't know, man. I think I'm going to just hold off and wait and get that when it goes down in price. But they got the Resident Evil Death Island. The CGI slash animated movie, the next one. That's 20. They got a DVD of it for 18. Still got Last of Us in here. The Venture Bros, Brothers, whatever you want to call it. That's a new release. I like that cover. But, uh, $22.96. I think we're going to skip that for sure. What else they got? Oh, this Owen Wilson movie, Paint, doing his best. Jim Ross, I almost said Jim Ross, <laughs> Bob Ross impression. You guys know who Jim Ross is, right? And over here on the side, they still got the Deadstream Steelbook. But look, they got this new one, Hollywood Dreams and Nightmares, the Robert England story. Got a Walmart, you got another exclusive Steelbook. What's up with that? What's up with that? What's up with that? And they got the paint on DVD in a protective case over here as well. So why do we need it in a protective case over here on the side? This town needs an enema. My best friend is a vampire. Buddy Games, Spring Awakening. Um, I saw the first Buddy Games. It was okay. It was a little tame, a little lame for an R-rated comedy. Should have been more. Should have been better. And not seeing anything else right here on this rack. What's over here? Damn, look at this big-ass Futurama set. The complete series for 95 bucks. And that lame-ass Quantum Leap. So next, I think this is new. Pitch Perfect, Bumper in Berlin, only on DVD season one. That's a pass for 20 bucks. Hey, Ancient Aliens. So we're going to head into Best Buy next. I've already checked the stock online. There are a couple things I'm going to look for uh, on this main rack up here in the front. That's a 4K of that Doom in Gotham, I think. Maybe that'll be cheap one day on the back side. They got all these steel books. Steel books galore. Mission Impossible, the six of those. The Sisu. Cliffhanger, Crank, Creed. Damn, man, I didn't realize there's that many steel books out. But. Nothing new on his front rack. They still don't have the John Wick 4 steel book. I'm hoping they'll get that back in stock. I'd like to get that. Still got that Kandahar. And they got some new stuff here. Look at that cover of that thing. Uh, my best friend is a vampire. Might have to pick that up. Team America World Police. Unrated. That's from the South Park team. Trey Parker directed that, I think. That's okay. War of the Worlds. Slipcover's a little janky. 
I know there was a War of the Worlds and then whatever the sequel was, two-pack, it was released in the past and there were problems with it. So I guess one of that stuff's fixed. So I married an axe murderer, Mike Myers. That's a pretty underrated comedy of his. I might have to pick that up. Anything else new right there? Nope. So they got the Justice League War World on Blu-ray and 4K. 4K is $28.99. Like I said, I'm going to wait and get that once it goes down in price. But there's the Ninja Turtles, the live action movie, the new one in 4K. Yeah, it's okay, but I think I'm going to skip that for now. Resident Evil Death Island. They got the Blu-ray with the digital in here for $23.99, so it's cheaper in Walmart. And then they got Paint, Owen Wilson. I think Target had that cheaper on the site, but they didn't have it in the store, so maybe I'll get them to price match that. And then they got World War Z, Brad Pitt's Zombie Epic on 4K from Shout. So yeah, I might have to get, get them to price match that Paint. I'm not really seeing much else right here. I got all those janky steel books from Disney. We got All American Superman. Still see they got those jacked up prices. Anything's got that little black box around it. The price means they went up on it. And the only way you can get it cheap is if you're a member of the club. So yeah, hey. I'm going to let you know this was the last weekend of the Barnes & Noble um, Criterion sale. So I'm going to go in there and pick up something. But while I was in there, I noticed this. Look, way back up there on the back shelf. See that Arrow video set? That video store set? Get out of the way, dude. People are having a hard time finding that. So check Barnes & Noble. And then, hey, I was in a Dollar General and I noticed, look. Aren't these those Walmart exclusive slip cases? So they got Detective Pikachu, the notebook. They got the Saiyans on there. Goonies. Hey, you guys. Wizard of Oz, Dumb and Dumber. I like some of those covers. The Batman. I'm Batman. Big Lebowski, the Hangover Trilogy. We're a wolf pack of four. Look at that, Jaws. Gonna need a bigger boat. Nope, I'm not picking it up just for the slip cover. Am I? No. All right, let's check online. Look, there was a 4K steelbook of that Resident Evil. I don't know whether that's exclusive or not. Might have to check that out. Needful Things, Stephen King's Needful Things came out on from... Kino. Um, I'm not a big fan of that movie. And those Chucky movies did not come out this week. They got delayed. So I think it's about a month from now. So the Ninja Turtles, we saw that on 4K. We also saw all of those 4Ks. World War Z, War, War of the Worlds, and So I Married an Axe Murderer. We got some old stuff in 4K. The Boogeyman. There's the War World. We saw that. There's a Criterion that came out. Hopefully you guys participated in that sale. There's paint. There's the Jaws 2 Steelbook set. I think that's a UK exclusive set. Doesn't have a lot. I'm, I've already bought that. I'm not double dipping again. My best friend is a vampire. Robot Monster 3D. Got some Kino titles. Some catalog stuff. Got some Warner Archive stuff. Dream Girls. There's that Team America World Police. We did see that. There's that Robert England doc. That's the regular version. We saw the Steelbook in Walmart. Marcel, Marcel, whatever that is. Superstore. The Turtles. That's the 2003, right? Turtles set. Then they got some anime. There's Pain on DVD. Oppenheimer. I'm assuming that's a doc or something since that movie came out. Neighborhood, a season of that. There's the Buddy Games, no Blu ray, so no thank you. What's up with that? What's up with that? Nothing else right there, really. Saw that anime in Best Buy. There's a double pack of some cheese. 
on Blu-ray. Nothing much. There's that bumper in Berlin we saw. Dark Nature. Don't know what that is. Demonoids from Hell. That's a Dustin Ferguson schlock cinema title. And then... Not really seeing much else. No, that cover looks kind of gnarly. Oh, well. I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Doesn't look like we're going to find anything. Let's get home and I'll show you what I picked up. So, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Jeff Man 316 Pop Culture Reporter Channel. I'm your host, as always, Jeff Man 316. And it's the haul portion of the video. Appreciate the support you guys give me by watching these things. So, I got a little uh, crate here that I got my movies in. Got a lot of stuff moving around in this room, and so I wanted to separate it out and make sure I knew what I bought this week. So uh, the first title I bought was in Best Buy. It's from Shout. It's the 4K Ultra HD plus Blu-ray set of Brad Pitt's World War Z. I'm a big fan of this movie. Um, I really think it's probably an underrated zombie movie. That When you talk about zombie movies, a lot of people forget it. It's got a 4K disc with a the theatrical cut. It's got a Blu-ray disc that's got the theatrical cut and the special features. And then it's got a third disc that's the Blu-ray extended cut. And I'll just tell you, it does not have reversible cover art. Um, I'll show you the artwork there. There's the first disc. And then there's the other two. So yeah, I really wish, as much as they're charging for some of these things, that uh, Screen Factory would uh, start putting slip covers on most of these things, or at least giving you reversible cover art, something to add, you know, give you a little bit of extra um, um, money, a value for your money, sorry. Um, the next one I picked up, next movie, was also in Best Buy, and this was a, um, a catalog title. It's the 30th anniversary of Mike Myers, So I Married an Axe Murderer. I really like this movie. You know, I didn't really like it as much when it came out, but once I got a little older and I started getting into Mike, uh, Mike Myers' humor, I think this is kind of a, one of his more underrated movies. You know, he's obviously famous for Shrek and Austin Powers, but I really like this movie. And he plays multiple characters in this as well. And it's got 30 uh, minutes of never before seen delete, uh, deleted scenes and uh, theatrical trailers. So it's PG-13. This is from Sony. Um, so the slip cover basically matches the main cover. So that's kind of cool. I like that. The next one, another catalog title. This is from the Vestron Video Collective Series. You get a Blu-ray and a digital code of My Best Friend as a Vampire. I'm going to have to re-watch this because I haven't watched this in years. It says vampires and teenagers are a lot alike. They're just misunderstood. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. And I really love that Vestron Video, uh, this Vestron Video line that Lionsgate puts out. So yes, yeah, this is from my friends at Lionsgate. Um, this is number 30, if you're keeping score. Um, and these things are so affordable. Like this thing, you know, is obviously uh, 11, 12 bucks. Um, here's the disc artwork. Make sure my digital code doesn't show. I haven't redeemed it yet. Basically matches the cover artwork. So big fan. This will keep my uh, collector series of the Vestron video series um, complete. Um, the slip covers in the Best Buy were not in the greatest shape. That's got a teeny bit of a bend at the top, but oh well. I'm not going to uh, worry about that. This next one is one of the, the uh, few new movies that came out this week. It's uh, Owen Wilson Paint. It says a work of art. You know, obviously this is probably a, a riff on um, the Bob Ross stuff. You know, speaking of Bob Ross, if you haven't watched the documentary, I think it was on Netflix of the story of his life and what he went through and how um, his family never retained the rights of the stuff and how they tried to screw him over. Um, blah, blah, blah. It's real interesting. Watch. Look at this inside cover artwork. I thought it was cool. Look. So uh, there's the disc artwork. But look, it's got a paint by numbers thing inside of it. See, it's got the legend at the bottom. It tells you what numbers to paint. So this got quite a few special features on it. It's got Commentary with the director, deleted scenes, set illustrations, ASMR video feature and Carl Nargle, a gallery of paint artwork and behind the scenes. It's PG-13. is from IFC Films. Does, it not, does not have a digital code. Does not have a DVD. It's only the Blu-ray. And then we did see the, the DVD separately in Walmart. Other cool thing it comes with is these stickers. Carl Nargle loves you. 
come with me to a special place. Paint, you inspire me to greatness. Fantastic, and then paint. Um, it's a little shitty that they put it on a sheet of stickers that would have fit in the DVD case, but didn't in this one. They bend it up, but it's bigger than the actual Blu-ray case, so there's no way to get it in there other than to bend it. That's what if you say. That's what she said. One more time, I'm gonna pop you. Yeah, that's what she said. So, um, but it does at least have a slip cover, so that's nice. So the next title I picked up is um, I didn't see it in stores, and I got it from Amazon. It's a Dustin Ferguson film, and it's one of those uh, B movie schlock titles, Demonoids from Hell. The cover artwork is worth the price of admission. Look at that. Probably, you know, basically a, um, a rip on the um, gremlins, ghoulies, critters stuff. Because it even says, a fun throwback to the 80s creatures features you know and love. Um, bonus feature is um, only is the just trailer. So really are interested to watch that. And then um, I didn't sh do a hunt. I did a hunt that I've recorded in Dollar General. Um, but I didn't find this in there. The, I went into another Dollar General. They didn't have anything new other than what I've already posted. Uh, but they did have this one title that uh, that I saw. And I, so I went ahead and picked it up. Chariots of Fire at $6.95. You know, I've only seen this like once and really didn't like it when I was younger. I'll give it a try now that I'm older. But this is the Digi book from Warner. So any of these Digi books that I can pick up at that price. Um, I will. So that's kind of cool. And so last but not least, two titles that I picked up from cinemaclassics.com. Um, it's from a gentleman that uh, runs that site. I met him on a Facebook group and he uh, was selling these and I actually got them early. They uh, This is supposed to street date next week. So I'm going to unbox them on the channel in a separate video. But I got the Blu-ray of the MVD Rewind Collection of Swamp Thing. And I got the 4K Laser Vision Collection MVD Rewind of Swamp Thing. Of Swamp Thing as well. So um, there's a reason that I got both of them. So I want to go ahead and I'm going to unbox both of these in a video. I've, um, I'm going to watch Swamp Thing uh, this weekend. And as soon as I watch it, I'll record a video and let you know my thoughts, whether it's worth the upgrade. So a lot of mix there of different titles. So, you know, got some classics. Got some 4Ks or whatever. So what did you think of um, this week's haul? Like, comment, subscribe, share. Do all that normal YouTube stuff. Really appreciate you guys. And don't forget, do the last thing. Hit the notification bell. You'll know when I post new videos. So until next time, boys and girls, this has been JeffMan316. And as always, I'm your pop culture reporter signing out saying you guys be safe out there. Check that shit out. What is that? Ooh, I didn't know they made them like that. <laughs> I don't even understand what I'm seeing. Mm. Ooh, ooh. I would love to see what's under there. I mean, I have no idea. Well, you know, we uh, we obviously have some idea, you know. <laughs> I don't. No, it, it's a vagina. Yeah. Or maybe it's a little face under there. Uh, no, no, it's it's definitely gonna be a vagina. Why? But because she's a girl, and girls have vaginas, man. What is that? What is a vagina? It's a woman's reproductive organ. What? Are you being serious right now? Thank you. That is all I require.